looking for you now and then someone just like you who can make me feel the way you do cuz if i'm the ocean you're the rain you and me we don't need no one else than each other you and me you and me we could run run away let's lose lose our minds after you guys start the day off with just a meat protein packed meal like a bowl of meat L literally it's it's a bowl of meat uh, well there's some rice but it's mainly a bowl of meat First place I'm going to, Guta de Gaku, and they're known for basically a big bowl of pork over rice. I'm being traditional here. Start off my day with bacon. Lying out the door already. Small, medium, large, or huge. This is the medium. This is the huge. One gets which one I'm getting. I'm not sure what this is. I just saw the guy before me order it. Actually, everyone is ordering it. Just in Chinese, it says some sort of gravy. It's like meat juice or something. Everyone's getting this. Oh, that's my pork ball. That might just be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Seriously, tell me this is not gorgeous. Look how juicy this is. And it's charred on the pork, charred on the edges. And also, I gotta commend them on the artistic placement of the pork. Look, it's just like spiraling. It's in a perfect layout with the veggies on the top, almost like a meat bouquet. And it's borderline hypnotic. Watch. If I turn this really quickly, doesn't that just kind of put you in a trance a little bit? And the juice on every single bit of the pork. I think the extra that I paid, is the is the extra juice that you see here and i promise you right now that it's well worth the 50 yen. every single piece looks like it has a good balance of fat and just beautifully cooked i love this i love seeing the char pattern this what you're seeing here guys this is a magically delicious moment where the rice morphs from something plain to something spectacularly beautiful itadakimasu If you are ever in Japan, you love pork, and if you don't come here, you're gonna be filled with food regrets for the rest of your life. Damn, I'm gonna chase it with some rice. Oh my god. Is it weird that I almost like that better rice more than I do the pork? This is remarkable. The pork is just a perfect amount of fat, a little sweet, slight bitterness from the char, an absolute flavor bomb. And this is why they only need one layer of pork above the rice. That's how you need to flavor all this rice. So, um, so as soon as you put this in your mouth, your senses will immediately be invaded by just this remarkable smoky flavor. It's a little bit sweet, incredibly, incredibly juicy. Look, thin layer of meat over a mound of rice. You need all this rice to contain just the immense flavor from the meat. Like you need it. Look at it, look at my rice right now. Tell me you don't want a spoonful of that. This is how you're supposed to eat bacon for breakfast. And if you get extra large, bring your appetite, because I'm halfway through, and this thing is definitely filling me up. And I'm gonna take you guys for a look underneath the porky surface. That rice is already really fragrant before the juice. <laughs> After the juice, you're gonna fall in love even more. Oh, you didn't see this. Oh, some spice is gonna make this even more magnificent. I can't get over how incredibly flavorful each piece of pork is. You know the game Angry Birds, and the birds are attacking the pigs? Well, 
this meal, the rolls are definitely reversed. This, this should be called an angry pork bowl because every bite is like a flavor bomb. You wanna have a good day? You start your day off with something immensely delicious. And today, I'm gonna have a great day, no matter what happens. It's already great. Mm. Make sure to put some pepper on it. Mm. One of the only times I'll tell you, pepper over chilies. The next big bowl of meat I'm about to eat is uh, here in Akihabara. Oh, there it is. Mm. The sign looks really, really yummy. Check this out. Just seeing that makes me hungry. This is Wagyu beef bowl. Heck yeah. Japanese beef or Australian beef? Hello. Gotta go for the Japanese beef. Meat increase? For sure. Oh, so you can actually get any size rice you want for free. That's because it's all about the beef here. And they have instructions on how to eat. It's basically saying it's fine to eat, don't worry. Look at this. This is like a meat volcano on the top. There's this golden yolk. All hail this beefy volcano. They also give you cream cheese and wasabi. Oh, real wasabi too. You guys ready for a flyover? Ladies and gentlemen, down below, you'll see a meaty wagyu volcano. In the center is a delicious yellow yolk that's about to erupt, spilling creamy, eggy lava all over the base. According to the forecast, this beefy volcano is due to erupt. Let me take you to the scene. Oh, oh, it's, it's happening. If I was the villagers living down there, I'd be getting my forks and spoons right now. Look at that thin slice of Wagyu. Oh my gosh, look at the marbling. You can see the marbling throughout this thin slice of beef. <sighs> it smells insane. Oh my god. Oh, this is freaking amazing. Whenever you put Wagyu in your mouth, however it's presented to you, either as a steak, as a sandwich, as sliced roast beef, you never mistake it for anything else. That melt in your mouth texture, it's just something no other types of beef can ever imitate. You guys see all that marbling? For me, that beats looking at any beautiful painting on the wall. Not only is Wagyu already incredibly tender, and then you go and slice it paper thin like this, A little wasabi, mix it with the Wagyu. Oh God, this is so beautiful. Not only pleasing to the eye, this will please all your senses. And if you have a sixth sense, it'll please that too. The egg and mayonnaise provides just a little slightly creamy texture. We've got these like pickled cabbage on the side too, that gives it just a nice little crunch, a little bit of a acidity. Cream cheese with the Wagyu. Let's try that. Wow, that's so creamy. That's a lot. I mean, I got extra meat. That is a mountain, literal mountain of beef sitting on top of rice. And the rice is already covered in yolk and the juice from the beef. Look at that glisten. Heck yes, yeah, superstar. Not a bad bite in this bowl. I definitely recommend getting the extra beef. They give you a ton. Mm. If you like roast beef, you gotta try Wagyu roast beef. Nothing like it. Love the creaminess from the yolk. Crispy cabbage too, I gotta give props to that. Crispy, a little vinegary. That is excellent. Great day so far. Amazing bacon ball. Now, maybe even a more amazing Wagyu ball. Mm. Don't miss out on the dons in this country. Oh, that was a good meal. There's one more bowl I had. This thing was so delicious for a really relatively cheap price. 
Um, I filmed that a couple days ago, so have a look. I travel about 30, 40 minutes to get here, and I'm looking for, there it is. This place right here. Got beef bowl for only about three dollars. You can do that beef and cutlet bowl. Oh, there's also udon noodles as well. This is my beef and pork bowl with a little bowl of udon. Beef looks good. Egg in here and the pork cutlet as well. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, actually, that's really good. Amazing sauce on the outside of the breading. Really, really good. This is so, so well. And a little bit of oyster sauce. Really, it's about the flavor more than anything else. It's not gonna be the most tender beef, but this thing is juicy, and my God, it's packed full of flavor. Mm. Seriously, very so good. This is so satisfying. Oh, they're so good. Oh man. Oh, so glad I got the with them. You guys should try this when you come to Japan. This combo at this place. I mean, I had this at Yoshinoya. Can't even come close to this place. This is such a fulfilling meal for such a good price. Seriously, such a simple bowl of udon. It tastes better than any udon I've had in New York. Look at the rice on the bottom. Trust me, that's some flavorful nice. rice. That was just an amazingly satisfying meal. Couldn't really talk very loud in there because everyone was just quietly eating. At first, I, I didn't think it looked like there was a lot of fruit, so I thought I had to get like two bowls or something. And I'm not 100% full, I'm like about 50, halfway there. But wow, I, I think every, anybody with a regular appetite would be really, really satisfied with those portions. Seven dollars, that's probably the most satisfying, filling meal I've had in Japan for such little money. I'm gonna highly, highly recommend that place. If you love beef bowls, if you love katsu, if you love udon, go get what I just get there. Get the combo ball and make sure you get that udon. It's seriously, it looked like, I'm like, because the guy got the udon from like a package, so I'm like, all right, how good could it be? I'm so happy it's rainy and chilly out here because that warmed my entire body up. That warmed my soul up. Yoshinoya, more like Yoshinoya. Right there, just, just look for the big green sign there. I think those three meat over rice bowls, if I had to choose, ugh, I can't. I think the gyo and katsudon and then the batudon from this morning, those two were just so, so good for the price. I mean, the wagyu beef bowl, obviously it's more expensive. It tastes really good, but it is pretty pricey. So if you just want delicious value for the dollar, I mean yen, those two places are absolutely amazing. But you know what? If you have the opportunity, try all three on the list. If you're a big fan of wagyu, you're gonna love that place. As always, all the places I went to is listed for you in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again. Oh, it's just Colonel Sanders. Thought it was. Anyway, see you later.